Data is big business and big data is even bigger. Boeing are into this with their analytics business. And I'm with Darren, he's going to tell me a little bit about that business and why it is so important for the aerospace industry. Well, Boeing is investing a lot in data and analytics, and we really, it's not a magical concept or a new concept for that matter. We've been doing analytics for the last half century as a company. Now, we've been doing it for ourselves, and we've been doing it for our customers and for the industry. So for ourselves, it's about improving our manufacturing process, it's about improving our supply chain and our customer service that we provide uh, after the sale of the aircraft. And for our customers, that's provided through now being uh, the, this new suite of Boeing Analytics solutions. And that's where we are investing a lot in order to push the boundaries and the frontiers of the industry so that we can get into from reactive to predictive and finally to prescriptive. Okay. I I get that, but we get analysis paralysis. Yeah. There's so much that you're analyzing. Where does it affect the bottom line? What does it ever give the airline or the, or the customer that's going to actually make a difference? Yes, absolutely. And that's the kind of tangible value that we have to prove. And also, it starts with what questions are we trying to address, the business questions we're trying to address. So, uh, in, for example, everybody, all of us, as even as passengers, we want, what do we want? We want on-time performance from our airlines. We want a comfortable and, and friendly experience in the cabin. And we, we want airlines to be able to provide that uh, at a reasonable cost without delays and disruptions. So that ultimately uh, is what we're enabling as Boeing, empowering our airline users and the owners and operators in the industry to do a better job at hitting those bottom lines. Okay, you talked about maintenance and, and predictive maintenance and so on. The companies have engineers, we've got MRO businesses around here. How do you detect something that's gonna make a difference to them? Can you give me a real example of how you can actually save money or help an engineer do his job? I would love to give you a, a tangible example. Um, so, for instance, take predictive maintenance. You know, in the industry, we've been talking about this a lot. We've been talking about predictive, prescriptive maintenance. And there's a lot of talk, so now it's time to walk the walk. And I think, and I'm very confident that in Boeing, we're actually walking the walk and pushing the frontier for the industry and as the leader in the industry. So with predictive maintenance, for instance, uh, one of our operators, they've been, they've been noticing that half their fleet have been burning too much fuel. Now, the problem with burning fuel is where do you start on solving that problem? Because there could be a myriad of a long list of issues. Right? So think about it. Um, the engine could be dirty. We need to wash the engine. Uh, there could be bugs and dirt on the outside of the engine that creating extra drag. Well, there could be um, misaligned flight surfaces and flight controls. And so it needs to be realigned. And, and the list goes on. As an engineer, you may be able to find out much more than I could. But the issue is, if you went down the list traditionally, one by one to eliminate the cost of this problem, it becomes a ghost chasing, ghost problem chasing yeah. exercise. So what we were able to do as a data science and the analytics team here, uh, we were able to help our engineers to pinpoint, well, let's look at the flights that are healthy and the flights that are unhealthy and control for variances and then find out what out of the thousands and tens of thousands of parameters, what are the parameters that are different? And what's the correlation? And through that, what we were able to find out is that the engine bleed valve of this particular aircraft, uh, the healthy flights were open, closed, open, closed. The unhealthy flights were open, closed, open, closed, open, closed, and it just kept cycling. And that, when we present that information and that evidence back to an engineer, it's very easy for them to now know, ah, okay, it's the fuel pump that's the problem. And then because of that, we were able to show and pinpoint which airplane is going to have more of a degraded fuel pump. And that way, they were able to save millions, millions of dollars in fuel just in a matter of months. And that's the kind of predictive maintenance and prescriptive because now we're prescribing exactly those are the fuel pumps to go and check and Brilliant. inspect. So it works and it's good for the environment as well if you're saving fuel. Absolutely. So, uh, Cheaper and greener. Data matters. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.